Hey guys, <clears throat> my screen came up quicker than I was expecting, so I was sitting there looking like a doofus for a minute. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but anyway, guys, today is uh, Saturday, March the 9th. Makes it day 68 on our Daily Bread Project 2013. I can already marked it here. So it is good, good to be here tonight, guys. It really is. I need to try to make this as short as I can because it is a Saturday night. And as usual for most Saturday nights, I'm running a little bit behind. Not bad tonight, to be honest about it. But what's going to get me tonight is we're we're having to you know set our clocks forward because of what is it daylight savings time or whatever it's called. So uh, I'm going to lose an hour tonight. So I'm I'm trying to get everything done and and uh, getting to bed. So anyway, guys, like I said, it is good to be here. Uh, I'm sorry for not being here last night, guys. I really am. Uh, my stomach was just killing me last night uh, I was on the I was in the bathroom all night we'll just put it that way uh, I don't know what if it was something I eat or I don't think I'm getting sick I don't feel bad in any other way uh, but it was just I was just so sick and just like I said in the bathroom all night and I just between the bathroom and the bed that was what it was me last night so uh, I'm sorry for not being here guys uh, I really am so, without making this video any longer for no reason, I don't think there's no jib real jibber jabber to talk about. Normal stuff, guys. Just pray for us. Um, guys, keep praying for our um, Easter drive through thing because, you know, we've got, what, like less than three weeks now. Uh, or I guess probably last night was made it probably three weeks uh, till we got to do it, and we've not even started uh We've had to, we've had to order stuff in. We've had to, uh, we've got to make a set of hooks to put on a tractor to move some of the buildings around. We, I mean, we've not got anything done yet. So, like I've said before, I guess one good thing about it, if we do pull this off, we know that God's in it because it, it's going to take a miracle to do it. <laughs> Just to be honest about it. And then on top of that, you know, we're averaging 15, 15 to 20 people right now at church, and we need 30 to pull it off. So I don't know. Even if we can get every single one of those people that have been coming to church to show up, we're still going to be like 10 people short. So, I mean, I'm not saying the Lord can't do it because he's done it before. He's, you know, I know he likes to, he likes to show that it's him doing it instead of us. Uh, I've seen that a whole lot in my life. So I know that if it's in his will to do this, that he will give us the people. So uh, you guys just keep praying about that. Uh, what else? I guess that's about it, guys. Um. I really do. I was trying to think if there's anything else. I don't think there is. So, let's get to the important thing tonight. The reason that we're here. So, guys, Revelation chapter 18, starting in verse 22. Here we go. And the sounds of harpists and musicians, of flute players and trumpeters will be heard in you no more, and a craftsman of any craft will be found in you no more, and the sound of the mill will be heard in you no more. And the light of a lamp will shine in you no more, and the voice of bridegroom and bride will be heard in you no more. For your merchants were the great ones of the earth, and all nations were deceived by your sorcery. And in her was found the blood of prophets and of the saints and of, who, and of all who have been slain on earth. So we're going to go from the end of uh, chapter 19, verse 1. It says after this, I heard what seemed to be a loud voice of a great multitude in heaven crying out, Hallelujah, salvation and glory and power belonging to our God. For his judgments are tr true and just, for he has judged the great prostitute who corrupted the earth with her immorality and has avenged on her the blood of his servants. Once more they cried out, Hallelujah, the smoke from her goes up forever and ever. And the twenty-four elders and the four living creatures fell down and worshipped God who was seated on the throne saying, Amen, Hallelujah. And from the throne came a voice saying, Praise our God, all you his servants, you who fear him, small and great. Then I heard what seemed to be the voice of a great multitude, like the roar of many waters, and like the sound of mighty peals of thunder, crying out, Hallelujah, for the Lord our God, the Almighty, reigns. Let us rejoice and exult and give him glory, for the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his bride has made herself ready. 
It was granted her to clothe herself with fine linen, bright and pure, for the fine linen is the righteous deeds of the saints. And that's where I'm going to stop, guys, because I think that's about, actually about 11 or 12 verses. So. so anyway, guys, thanks for being here tonight, as always. I love you all. Thanks for not giving up on me. Brother John, I'm going to get you those pictures. I meant to take them today. I was getting ready to head to work uh, to go take the pictures and everything, and Dad calls, and there were some guys showed up down there right before closing time, needing some burns pressed in, so uh, the arbor press that we used to do that with, actually, well, we can do it down there, but since I showed the boy that works for us about this arbor press and using that, now he always wants to come up here and do them because it is a whole lot easier. So anyway, he wanted to come do these burns, so he came up here, and I helped him, and by the time we done all this, and Dad was in a hurry because we thought we were working at church, uh, Dad wanted to get out of there, and so he just, I got in a fizz, he really speak, I got in a fizz, and we got we got out of there, and we left, and I, I didn't get to take him. So, uh, brother, hopefully by Monday, I'll get to get him to you. I'll get some pictures to it. So, anyway, uh, like I said, guys, thanks for being here. I love you all. If you need anything, as always, let me know. Good Lord willing, I'll be here tomorrow night, guys. Until I see you all again, good night, and God bless.